Well, you're probably wondering, how did I get here? Let me tell you. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode from the Offcraft server. Today, um, well actually, not, not today, it was a couple days ago. But it was a rainy day, very much like this one here. And, um, actually it's the reason why my weather sounds are really low and I can't hear the rain. Uh, weather. I still can't hear it. But, uh, it was a rainy day. There was some lightning. And I might have become a mad scientist, and that little bit of lightning turned into a lot of lightning. I'm gonna lie, I kinda wanna it's stand alive. in it. It's <laughs> alive! <laughs> Alita, set your spot and do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! I, I need to get... I need to take everything out. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Where's my bed? This no, is no, why no, I wanted... No. Okay, go quick! Go, 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 go! Again. Oh my word, this is <laughs> chaos. Here we go. Go, Lisa! Go! <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. Oh my goodness. It's so good. Okay, I kind of want to do it too. <laughs> Spider eyes. <laughs> Don't want to lose those. <laughs> Why is this so entertaining? <laughs> I'm not going to make it in time to get loser. You should sleep in Indy's bed. <laughs> I'm afraid. What if I accidentally sleep too long? Just hit. Just hit escape immediately. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Loser! <laughs> <laughs> so I just heard thunder, which means I can actually show you guys exactly how this thing works. Um, so if I come over here, let me, uh, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. This this thing is a lot of fun, uh, as you guys can clearly tell. Uh, let's see. It's like it's probably more than enough redstone. A fun box, and then I need some blocks. Where you? Here we go. So everything you need is right here. Two sticky or four sticky pistons. Actually, technically, just two sticky pistons. The other two can be pistons. Uh, so all they're doing is updating the bottom one to make sure that it keeps pushing, and then a bunch of redstone. Bloop, 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 bloop. Actually, I think technically. Uh, no, wait, never mind. Never mind. I'm, I'm smart. I know how this thing works. So that's just to power it, and then I slap the block in the middle. Here we go. Zero tick generator. So now the fun part is if I take. Block needs to be over there. 
Yeah. Yes, I hear you, lightning. I hear you, my friend. Loop. And then piston's a little bit tricky to place in. Make sure I'm not in the hitbox. There we go. Now the fun part. I'll right, we'll hop up here on top of the piston. Aim down. Ah! Get back up! Back up! Oh! <laughs> I am a mad scientist today, it seems. Uh, this is awkward. There's villagers just over there. Um, yeah, I really don't want to start a raid right now. I actually work my base. Um, I'll show you guys in a second. But um, e excuse me, we just can't have this. Ooh, okay. Price is verted. Uh, put back on my thorn pants. Yeah, I've been, I've been working a bit on the base. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we now have a layout of the first level. Um, and then it's going to go up to that height over there. And we can come back a ways like, it's like this. I want to be able to look at it from over here. So that should hopefully be high enough up to where whatever wall I have here won't obstruct it. Um, but I just wanted to start getting in the area for this. That way I can actually move my solar system inside. Because currently, currently, it's, it's like in the wall and yeah, I don't, it's not exactly ideal. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to move all this, which is going to be kind of painful to do, but it's going to have to happen. And then I also want to do some redstone for the storage system too. Yeah, I've just been doing some, dig doing some digging, getting everything all level in here. But it's, it's so nice just being able to see this coming onto the server finally. Because I had this idea just in the back of my mind for so long. And it's so nice to be able to just see it here in survival. It's so nice. Uh, however, I I don't know why I did this to myself. But <laughs> I am using the most grindy blocks to get. Um, um, mangrove logs. And red nether brick. Just this area, like just the little bit you see here. Yeah, that's two shulker boxes, which translates to four shulker boxes of that. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what I was thinking when I decided, yeah, I'm going to make red nether brick my primary building block. Um, I know for a fact I'm never doing that again. <laughs> Because, man, it is just such a grind to get a lot of. It looks really good, though. Definitely worth it. But it's such a grind. And now the start to our base is underway. I mean, this is already kind of the start to our base, but, like, this is the centerpiece to the base, and... It's, oh my gosh, this thing looks so cool. But um, just just one problem. I'm out of blocks. <laughs> I have like no more red nether brick. I am almost out of basalt. Uh, and then obviously mangrove. I, I can't even finish this bit. Um, so yeah, this this is all the base progress we're gonna have today. Just cause um, I'm kind of out of resources. So instead, what I've started doing a little bit, uh, just to kind of get this thing done a little bit. Like this isn't gonna be, oh, I'm gonna finish the whole thing now. It's gonna be like a little bit here and there. Is getting the nether paths in place. Um, which again, I, I, I ran out of ice. I seem to be running out of everything today. Um, but hi, excuse me, get out of here. Nope. Yeah, I. I haven't finished this bit yet because I was like 
Oh, I, I ran out of, I'm almost out of ice. I'll just do this and then get some more ice. And then I'm like, oh, wait, that's the rest of my ice. Yeah, my ice didn't go that far. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get this in a little bit. And then I don't know how far I'll go. Maybe, let me see, how far down was? I think we'll go down to Spider's Portal. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll finish up here. So while I do that, um, how about we get some resources together for this, all right? Sound like plan? Alright, this nether tunnel is done about halfway with the flooring. And actually I, I gathered um more than enough ice. Yeah. This might actually be enough ice for another two tunnels, to be honest. <laughs> um So I think we're good on ice and nether tunnels. Um blocks we're not so good on. I need there's a couple of farms I need to make. Cough cough mud farm. Uh, just because mud is, I mean, yeah, I can mine it, but it'd be much easier just to have a mud farm, which I've been looking into designs and trying to come up with some. They they like to break pretty easily, and I don't like that. Um, yeah, it turns out mud is not very nice to farms, so I'm going to still work on that. Maybe we'll get a mud farm eventually, but. I have another farm I would like to work on. Um, which is the reason I have a lot of skulk now. Oh yeah, I have a lot of skulk now, by the way. Um, I got a lot of skulk for this farm. So the plan is we're gonna go to the end and make not a skulk block farm. Cause I have another idea for that. But instead, I think we ought to make a skulk block farm, or not skulk block, like, um. There you go, a farm for, not, not Skulk, but the Shrieker sensor. This is the one I really want. I mean, these are cool, but getting the Skulk for this, I, I didn't know how much Skulk I need, so I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna chuck a box of Skulk. But all I'm gonna need is one catalyst and a bunch of Skulk. And this actually is a trick I think I saw from Richard Thornton. Uh, so if I, if I do that, you're gonna start spreading, right? Nope. Hmm. I break that. Then that'll start going down. We wait for that. Okay. Wait for that. Wait for that to go down. And then we can ride the water. And we know exactly where it's gonna end without using F3. Now we wait. We build across. Build another platform. I am pretty sure you've seen an Ender Run farm how many times now? Yeah, it's normal stuff. So. Let's go.
well. It's definitely working very, very well. Um, just collect all these guys. Yeah, um, I, I kind of have a lot of, especially the sensors, shriek, shriekers are a little bit rarer. Um, but just after, I don't know, maybe half an hour or so, got, um, like, a lot of sensors and a little bit over a stack of shriekers. And then the other thing that's nice is I have the glass rounds. If I want the veins, I can just grab those real fast. And then as for the actual scope blocks, I have a different idea for a farm for that one. Um, just due to the nature of how skull spreads, um, actually said idea is something I saw from Omega, which I was kind of thinking of doing something similar. Um, basically, the idea is to have a chicken farm and use that to spread the skulk in a more controlled way, which um, is exactly how it works. Now, um, we're not going to build that one today. We're probably going to build that next episode. Um, in a couple of episodes, I don't know. But it's soon. Um, it's not going to be a fast one. It's more of a passive skulk farm. It's like, all right, we're generating a lot of skulk. Come in every once in a while, mine all up, and then go again. That is at least the plan for it. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I've just been around here gathering all this. Whenever I hear the shrieker, I'm just like, yes, another shrieker. Now, we have so many shrieker's, I, I feel like... I don't like being a bit of a mad scientist and pranking all the other office with one in their face. I know, it's so classic. Uh, well, not classic, because um, these just got added. But it's the classic style of prank, like, just a little thing. It's like the trap, what is it, trap door note block. Or fresh play note block, but on a whole other level. So, uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, it's just like, I want to harvest everything. I can always just come back later. This farm is so cool. All right, I have my pranking box ready. Um, got water to silence the skulk, triggers, and carpets. So I'm trying to think like, do I want to do them in some of the star bases or? Because I know I definitely want to put one um, over here somewhere. Hmm, what if I, I could probably tuck. Yeah, I could totally tuck the sensor in back here water log moss and then got two shriekers for spawn thinking I mean one just has to be right there and then Where should I put? I hide it in a little bit further. Yes, we get both. Oh, that is weird. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go hit the other bases. Um, but I'm not gonna show you where I'm gonna hide them all. So if you want to see where they're all at, check out all the other office videos. Their, their links are down in the description. Um, I don't know when they'll find them, but keep your eyes out, because uh, I am. Oh my gosh, I'm just. Yeah, I'm so excited for this. Hmm. Base with moss. Man, you guys are making this too easy. Hmm. When in doubt. Probably a chest monster is the best spot. Because I don't see anywhere else Hobbit would go. Apparently, if someone has a lot of mobs moving around, the sensor won't detect you. It'll detect the mobs. All right. All the skulk has been hidden. And I can't wait to start seeing the other alphas find it. And um, I, I can't wait to see the reactions. So um, definitely keep your eyes out for those in their videos. I definitely will as well. 
And with that, I think we're going to end the episode right there. Uh, I hope you all have enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button. And also, I've been starting a new series. Some of you may have noticed it. Uh, building trees. Yeah. Um, I upload it every Wednesday. So keep your eyes out for those as well. I think I have three videos out on that series currently. And yeah, so definitely also if you have like any tree suggestions, please, please send them. I'm always open to ideas. So yeah, and with that, I will see you all next time.